Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Moodle. To the right, this is where you're going to type in your username, your password, and click login. You do not need to create a new account because your teacher will already have you enrolled and they will supply you with your username and password. Once you log in, it will look the exact same, except on the right, it will show you up at the top your name. So that's how you know that you were logged in. To the left side, you will see your courses. For example, this student is enrolled in Teacher Alexa's class. Click on that name and it will take you to your teacher's website. And this is your teacher's classroom. On the left side, it's going to show you what you can find in your course. You can find your other peers, and you can find your grades and the lessons that your teacher will post. If you click on it, it will take you right to where you need to be. Your teacher will have a little bit of an announcement and the Zoom meetings. You can click on the links to access the Zoom meeting, or you can use the meeting ID and password. You can also scroll down to get to the rest of the information. If you see something that's light blue and not available, that means your teacher has turned off that lesson and that you cannot access it. When you see that it is dark blue or highlighted, like down here, that means that that's what you're going to work on right now. When you go through your lessons, you can also check and say that you have completed something so you know what you have accomplished. Sometimes your teacher will have a video for you to click on or a file, like a PDF, for you to read. All you have to do is click on it and it will open to that screen. These check marks are very important. This means it's a quiz. So to test what you study, you'll click on it, click attempt quiz now, and you will go through the questions. If you don't understand, always make sure to contact your teacher. But when you're done, you're going to click finish attempt, submit all and finish, and submit all and finish. You have to click it three times. When you want to go back or if you are lost, just look for your teacher's name or the lesson and it will bring you back to the home page. If you don't want to scroll or you're using your cell phone, you can go over to the left side and click the lesson you want to go to and that will take you to the page. To access your profile, look for your name in the top right and click it. Then you can also check your grades from here and you can also message your teacher. Click profile to access your profile. It will also show you the courses you're enrolled in and any other information that you want to have on here. You can click edit profile and you can change some information about you and you can upload a photo of yourself if the school hasn't provided one already. Then you would click update profile. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher or scroll to the bottom of the screen. At the bottom, you will see our program locations, Grand Rapids and Wyoming, along with our GED testing center. Just look at the program that you are interested in enrolling or that you already are enrolled in and there is the phone number, address, and our office hours. That is the exact same for Wyoming for their phone number and office hours.